Hi everyone, my name is Vidur and I am the Senior Systems Engineer in Juniper Networks for MIST Wireless. In today's video, we are going to understand how we can upload a floor plan on the MIST dashboard and scale it and place APIs on it. Uh, so I'm going to quickly move to the MIST dashboard. This is how it looks like. As we know that this is my home or Vidur and we have created a site called test underscore site in this. Uh, the place where we, we have to upload a floor plan comes in the location tab. I'm going to quickly uh, click on location and then go to live view. Here you, you see we are, I'm, I'm in the test underscore site uh, site. I could be in, in the other site as well depending on how many sites I have. I can, I can switch between sites. Uh, here I, I get the option to add a floor plan or import a floor plan, right? If I click on import a floor plan, this gives me an option to import the floor plan from Ekahu. If you have a server done, you can directly import the .esx file and it will take the floor plan with the AP positions there. Or you can also upload and upload a CSV file with the AP mapping as well, which it will which understand and, and place the APs there as well. So, but normally we, we do this the other way. We add a floor plan, when, when we get the floor plan from the customer, we, we click on add floor plan. And then uh, I'll give the name of, uh, let's say, test floor plan and click on OK. This is the name of my floor plan. Now what I need to do is uh, that the floor plan has been created. Now I need to upload an image in this. I'll click on upload and click on this button to upload. On the desktop, I see a floor plan here. All good for me. I will upload this. This is actually, I'll just click on upload. This is actually a floor plan of my house so this is how it looks like when it is uploaded or updated i can zoom in just to be sure you know how it looks like and this is this looks good fantastic now the next thing i want to do is uh, read this this image is not scaled so just like we do it we do in echo we need to scale the image i'll click on set up floor plan this is where we need to go set up floor plan i'll just do a slight bit zoom in so that i know what i'm doing uh, set up floor plan once i do that i need to set the scale Right. This is where this is what I want to do. Click on set scale and then just uh, on the cursor, press and drag and then just do a straight line like this. I'm sorry, it's not good. You know what? I will create a straight line. Yes. And this is I'm going to give it as one meter and click on OK. Now, when I click on done, this entire floor plan is updated and scaled okay let me click on scale uh, save once i do that i will just go and check once again i'll go to ruler click here and just drag and see what is the length of this should be approximately one meter yeah it's just over one meter that's that's fine which means the whole map is scaled all looks good the next thing i want to do is i want to basically uh first of all zoom out of it yeah this no this is fine okay now i can actually click on set up floor plan again and do some more things i now i want to place the ap on the map where i usually would mount the ap uh in 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 reality so i'll just uh, click on so let me go back a bit we are here right now if i want to add an ap on the floor plan i need to click on set up floor plan okay i cannot just come here see an ap and drag it here it won't work uh, let me try that in case it's, see it won't work it won't let me drag it so i'm going to click on set a floor plan and now the ap is draggable i can click on the ap drag it and bring it right here where i want to place it now i place the ap here if i want to make some change to the settings of the ap i can click on this this these three buttons here ap details edit and remove if i want to remove the ap i can click, click on remove i can edit the ap from here now it says the ap name is study room which you can this is my study room so this is what i've given it but you can give it any other name uh rotation is uh this this means this this particular green dot here it should be it should be all the ap's placed in the in in, in an office or or in a retail store anywhere it, they, they all should point in a, in a same direction that's that's how you should be able to deploy it uh, height is standard approximately 2.75 2.74 or whatever height of the ap is uh, sometimes people place it a little higher than that you just make sure you enter the right height and uh, click on save or let me do this click on save now this means now this this particular ap is added i, I can click on ap details uh, hang on. let me do save here yes 
now I see the floor plan here with the AP also placed in this along with I click on the AP I can see AP details quick edits or locate I can do AP details it will take me to the AP page directly from there and tell me what's the IP address of the AP what all SSIDs have been transmitted and so on and so forth but anyway this we're not going to discuss that in this video I'm going to go back to the test plan and I will show you one more thing let me do a set of floor plan again and under in the utilities if you want to change the image if you want to remove the image you want to rename the floor plan you want to delete the floor plan that's pretty much what you do and that's that's where you come in so click on set up floor plan first and then you get various options to you know to do to, to make changes so this is something which is very uh, common which which a lot of people uh, during POCs and, and testing purpose or even when they deploy a live site they, they want to do this they want to upload a floor plan and place the APs and mark the APs accordingly and this is this is how you do it you know go in location upload a floor plan and scale the floor plan place the APs and you're good to go that's 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 how you do it so uh, this is what I wanted to cover in this video guys thank you so much for joining and, and I hope uh, this was helpful if you have any questions reach out to me uh, in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much